Hey buddy, are you gonna sting me? Look at it opening its jaws. It totally sees me. Ah! Enjoy. What's up AC family? Welcome to the channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different because as you can see, not in the ant room currently. I'm in Sydney, Australia. That's right. I'm here to look for Australian ants. And when I go on my travels, I love to check out the wild ants of whatever country we're in. So um, I wanted to look in particular for the famous bull ants. You guys know bull ants from the genus Myrmecia, very famous Australian ants. And um, I also wanted to look for weaver ants, which are actually green and exist here in uh, Australia as well. And just to check out whatever wildlife we can, I'm here at Narajinji. Uh, it's a conservation park. And I figured if we're going to find ants, it's probably going to be here. So this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Let's hope we find them. Okay, I see ants here. Not sure what species these are. They're living in wood. And they kind of have a heart-shaped gaster. I wonder if they're a chromatogaster species. Here's another ant. It looks green. Interesting. What is this, I wonder? See, it's got a greenish tinge. Wow. Is this Retidial Ponera? I'm not sure. Carpenterant, I think. Oh my gosh, guys! Found it. Here, guys, is a bull ant. It's a black species. Look at it. Wow. That didn't take very long. Okay. Oh, this is a whole nest of them. Okay. Look, this is their nest. Wow. This is a nest of bull ants. This is amazing. I mean, I think I scared them. They are huge, these bull ants. So they live in very inconspicuous holes. See? They just look... They look like holes in the ground. But I can't get over how lar large they are. Like that is quite large. And they seem very visual. Look at that. Now these ants sting. They ha they're very notorious for having a painful sting. So I'm going to be careful here. But wow, what a stunning ant. These ants are amazing. They have like a beautiful sheen to them. Incredible. It's crazy how they just stick their heads looking out of the hole. Like every now and then I'll see them at the entrance staring out of the hole. I think they see me. So it does look like that these bull ants are very visual. Such stunning, stunning ants. And like as a size comparison, like, this is my finger. Okay, I don't want to go too close to it, but <laughs> there he goes. I would say about an inch long, maybe less. Wow. Guys, I got a couple here on a stick. I think if I don't pose, there it goes, on my hand. Don't sting me. Oh, it just dropped. Okay. <laughs> Hi, buddy. It totally is looking at my hand. You are stunning. It almost has a bluish sort of tinge to its exoskeleton, which I didn't expect. Now these Myrmecia ants come in various colors. The ones I really wanted to see were the red ones, but these black ones are just as cool. And as you can see, they're not so aggressive, even though their nest is right here and I'm clearly intruding.
All right, guys, gonna try to feed this bull ant, this spider that I have. Oh, there. Awesome. And now it's bringing it back to the nest. Oh, and it's stinging it. Amazing. Has to make sure it's dead. Now what's cool about um, these bull ants is their genus is comprised of at least 93 species all around Australia. And um, again, they have a stinger. They are known to be aggressive, but perhaps because it's cooler at the moment, I mean, it's gonna be sunset soon. Maybe they're not so aggressive. They know I'm here. Like, look at that one right there. It's carrying something in its mouth. They know I'm here, but they're not boiling up from the surface to attack me. Like, if these were fire ants, I would be in pain right now. But these bull ants seem very chill. Look at their size, wow. Now bull ants um, have a very special place in my heart because my first experience or the first time I really felt ant love was when I was a child. I remember seeing an article in a National Geographic magazine about bull ants being kept in an artificial setup in a naturalistic ant farm and I fell in love looking at the pictures and reading the article and I believe that's when my infatuation with ants started and so I've always had a love for Myrmecia and for bull ants and I told myself one day I would see them in the wild and so seeing these ants here now is kind of a dream come true for me and a full circle moment hey guys someone once told me that these ants are so visual and forage based on um, landmarks they memorize landmarks instead of pheromones like most ants when they're looking for food I don't know how true that is but if that's true that's really interesting that the ants rely on visual landmarks as opposed to following pheromone trails. I love the color of these black ones. I mean, their jaws are bright yellow and their bodies are just a beautiful blue-black. See? Amazing. I wonder how large the queens are. If these, were, if the, if these are the workers, the queen must be massive. Or maybe she's just slightly larger. They seem to be doing a lot of like nest maintenance. Like <laughs> just picking up random debris and moving it. Wow, stunning. This one knows I'm around. It senses that I'm here. Hi there, buddy. Okay, now we're starting to see the aggression. Look at that. Hey buddy, are you going to sting me? Look at it opening its jaws. It totally sees me. Ah! ah! Oh my gosh, okay. I deserve that. It totally bit me. I saw it arching its body and it tried to sting me, but it didn't. Thank goodness. Okay, so I take it back. I mean, when they're in aggression mode, I should probably stay away. Wow, those jaws are powerful. That was a strong bite from the mandibles. Oh no, guys, I think the ants are all aware of me now. They seem to all be coming at me. See them? Did you guys release a pheromone? Okay, no, not gonna be playing with you guys anymore. I guess, guys, AC family, this is our cue to leave <laughs> because they are coming at me now. All right, and guys, before I go, also wanted to let you guys know, AC family in the US, particularly in New Jersey and New York, come meet me. I have a meet and greet on October the 22nd in New Jersey, and uh, you can visit thearchild.com to reserve your tickets. It's limited seating, so uh, I can't wait to meet you guys in New Jersey. It's coming up. 
guys, I found a roach, split it in half, and I'm gonna feed it to them. Let's see if they eat it. Let's see them attack. Oh, oh, there we go. Delivering a sting. Wow. Whoa, that is incredible. Look at that. All right, guys, it looks like a second one joined in to the action. Wow, this is thrilling. Amazing. What an opportunity to be able to watch them deal with prey. Okay, it looks like the other one... Oh no, it's helping. Still trying to sting it to immobilize the roach. And now the ants are going to drag it into the nest. Well, that was a super duper cool experience, being able to spot Mermesia. Again, not sure what species this is, but for all of you Australian ant experts, if you happen to know what species these ants are, let me know in the comments. They're very cool. See, there's one peeking again. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was such a cool experience hanging out with these amazing bull ants, these Mermesia ants. Sorry we're not at the ant room, but I also love exploring other places in the world and checking out their amazing ant life. Like these Australian bull ants. Didn't find any weaver ants. I'm gonna keep looking. So stay tuned. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing AC family. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's vlog uh, here on the Ants Canada channel. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy these ant videos and really helps the channel a lot. All of you guys who comment and share and leave likes, I really, really appreciate that a lot. And I'm just glad, guys, that I didn't get stung today. All right, guys, so, until next week, it's ant love forever. Mm -hmm.